What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're here again in the FFR shop working on the Bandolero build. In the last video we were able to get a lot accomplished with the front end and just getting everything fixed up and ready to go. This video we are going to try to tackle getting the throttle pedal built, get the brackets redone so that we can change the throttle pedal to my liking for my foot. And also we're going to try to clean up the front horns and just get them nice and smooth. And at the end of all that, we are going to hopefully be testing the throttle pedal out to see if the work that we've done is good enough for this thing to uh, still work out right. We uh, are going to take it for a test rip at the end and I'm going to check it out and make sure it's all good. So stay tuned for the end of this video and we will hopefully have a bandolero that's driving up and down the road with a functioning gas pedal. I wanna go over this gas pedal. As mentioned in part two, we did not have enough extension running to the motor for me to move this up. Well, that is not true. Someone pointed out to me in part two that uh, we actually have a loop here that I did not see. This loop is going to give us enough cable to move this throttle from here to there. So it's gonna be super easy. Uh, this shouldn't take long. <laughs> there we go. The extra length that we need was that simple. So thank you for the person who pointed that out. Now, all I have to do is slide this forward just like that. And now we have our extension. So we're gonna redesign this. I do not like that this is broke and this is just extra weight for this bar to be on there. And I do not believe that we're gonna use it. So we're gonna take this apart and redesign it. And I did notice that it looks like this has been right here before and was cut off. So we're gonna get this cut back off and just keep this mark, which it'll be obvious. I may shave this down real nice. And we're gonna move this back somewhere up in here so that we can get the pedal in the same position as right here. So anyway, that is great news. And I'm super pumped about that because that's less work and we'll be able to get it adjusted. So let's get this knocked out. All right, so that was super simple. That came off a lot easier <laughs> than I thought. I just made a small, super quick, like one pass on that and it was able to just break right off. And with this extension, check this out. This is how much room I have now. Put this under here. I mean, we have plenty plenty of room now. I mean, this thing goes way up here. I mean, more room than I even need just because of that little loop. So what we're gonna do now is we'll focus on seeing if we can clean this up a little bit and we may try to get rid of one of these brackets and just weld that bottom clip on so that we don't have to have this back clip. All right, so I was able to remove this throttle piece that holds the throttle cable in. And what I think happened, well, it's obvious what happened, is this piece right here broke off that normally had these two holes. This is the only piece that we need, this angle piece here, because it has to have this lip for that to screw in. So all they did is a quick fix is it looks like they found another piece of bar and drilled these two holes out and then just bolted these two together. So very simple. What I'm gonna do is make a mark and I'm actually going to cut this piece off right like that. And we're gonna make two pieces into one piece once I cut this out, we'll lower it down and we will weld this back piece onto this one to where we have one 
barb all the way through for the gas pedal. So let's get this cut and get it welded up. the throttle and what we'll do is we'll get this cleaned up really nice get it welded together and that this will pretty much be done and all we'll have to do then is mount and weld up our brackets for this and the gas pedal will be a job that is amazing what we'll do is we'll go down get my dad's welder and i'm gonna try my luck at welding this throttle bracket and also welding that piece that we ground off so we'll see so y'all don't make fun of my welding but i'm gonna try uh let's get this knocked out and hopefully when we come back we will be able to have both brackets and the throttle pedal 100 <laughs> percent We did it there it is gas pedal is back on the old spot that was welded down dad did some awesome work right here getting that clean back up and the pedal is done that bracket went really smooth under that bottom piece and everything works great absolutely awesome so that wraps up the pedal job. We'll button up the bolts on the brake. I just gotta put them two bolts back in and the gas pedal is finished. So we will move on to finishing up the grinding on the front and just get all that nice and smooth, cleaned up really well and primed, ready for that front piece to be welded on. But we'll get this cleaned up and we'll come back when it's all nice and clean, ready for some primer, and we'll see how it looks. All right, it's all done. I was able to get it all smoothed out and put some black paint on it. It's all I really had in my shop. I'm going to put some uh, nice paint on it once we get everything figured out with exactly what color we want. But for now, I didn't have any of that gray, so, but everything's nice and clean.
turned out excellent. And so I think that's it. We're gonna get this thing pushed outside and I'm gonna let my brother give it a shot out on the street and see if that work that we did to the gas pedal works good. So let's see how it does. I needed somebody to get on the chip. I haven't been up there yet because we didn't know if it even worked. Well, you just it tested it. <laughs> so you love it, huh? I love it. All right. Really fun. Yeah, it is. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to be it. That is a wrap for this video. We hope you enjoyed the content. The Bandolero is an absolute blast and works awesome with the throttle pedal. We got the front end cleaned up, so that is awesome. We're gonna come back next week and we are going to try to accomplish getting the seat mounted and then we will finally start doing the repairs on the body and trying to get everything buttoned up. So again, thank you so much for everybody's support. We hope that you like and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Leave your comments down below and we'll see you in the next one.